Have I got Jenny here? You have, yes. And is it Dean? Yes, George. Splendid. Now, this is not a straightforward case. Jenny, this is a case about you having bought a car from a company that Dean and you have a co-owner. Yes, George. Run. He's not here today, but I've got a statement from him. And having bought that vehicle from them, which you had a brief opportunity to have a look at and examine, and it had problems with it, the car, not long after you purchased it, despite it having some warranty, broke down. And you got an independent person to go and value the cost of the repairs. And despite you having bought it for just shy of £2,000, the repairs cost £2,000. Got a view on that. You paid the money for those repairs, and you're here today suing Dean and, of course, co-owner for the value of those repairs. Yes? Yes, Judge. Dean, you say, buyer beware. But what's more, you say you sold a car which had all of the relevant documentation, which had an MOT. She was aware of the problems that it had because you pointed it out to her. Had she, A, come along to your car dealership, after she drove the car away, when the problems arose, you would have had an opportunity to deal with it. So the amount she's spent on repairs is unreasonable. That's the first part of your reply. And secondly, in any event, the reality is she took the car knowing what the problems were. And you, professionally, had done your very best to have the car tested. So as far as you were concerned, to your professional satisfaction, the car was in, for a second-hand car, decent working order. Her problem, right? Yes, George. Splendid.